Hey guys, welcome to the week 13 wrap up, the regular season wrap up, the special 10th anniversary blood, sweat, and beers season. Uh, the week where hopes and dreams are spit out like gum that lost its flavor, uh, one to be trampled on, stepped on, uh, to turn black and gross and be completely ignored, stuck to the sidewalk. Before I go too far and, and to kind of take a step back from the silliness, I wanted to, uh, well, I wanted to, to just mention uh, someone who we, we lost just a couple days ago, um, a great leader. I know that uh, there's kind of a, a lot of sentiment poured out over the weekend. Um, and, and, you know, there are moments of silence and things like that. Uh, but when you when you really lose a, a, a great leader, sometimes um, it, you just want to pause and reflect for a minute. So um, that, that was rough, losing McCarthy. So I just wanted to, to wear my one Packer shirt that, uh, that I had just in honor of poor Mike, a very successful coach who has no job right now. I'm sure he'll pick up a, a gig at, at somewhere, but anyway. Uh, you know, this is one of those uh, one of those weeks. You gotta love the drama of it, taking it down to the wire, literally, to the last two minutes of the last game of the weekend, the Monday night game, to figure out who gets uh, the final spot in the playoffs. Unfortunately for me, uh, I wish I was on the East Coast and would have just gone to sleep, but because uh, it's on while I'm awake, I feel compelled to watch, count every single yard percentage points as I inched and crept closer to beating Orlando Thunder. I uh, really thought it was going to happen after Keenan Allen went nuts. I, I was, was pretty much, I had pretty much given up on Sunday afternoon, too far behind. Keenan Allen goes berserk, has a fantastic game. Now all of a sudden all I need 9.1. The feature back should get 9.1 points. So it was one of those games that really made me stop and wonder if, uh, well, just how uh, mentally and emotionally stable I am because it was truly like having uh, multiple pers personality disorder and Tourette's at the same time because every time they, they put Adams in the game, I got excited. They'd hand him the ball and I'd say, go, get him. And that doesn't even make any sense. The fourth down, fourth and goal, and I got so excited that they stopped him and I said, yes, no. It was a rough night, I didn't sleep very well. Uh, I didn't sleep much at all. Um, and I really wanna point out, John, that the next time you prop up a dummy team, we need to talk about uh, when that dummy team plays each of us because clearly that did not work out this this season. So uh, I know I had mentioned, made some point about the being some reason to play in the loser's ladder, the consolation bracket or whatever it's called. Um, that was dumb. I don't really care about that bracket. So, uh, you know, hey, yay for the winners. Um, set some records, which was kind of cool. So Joe tied the record with uh, 11 wins for the regular season, tied with Ruben a couple years ago. Uh, broke the, the record for the most points scored. Five of us actually were, were higher than uh, the previous high, but first team to break 1,800 points, which is pretty cool. Uh, and John, unfortunately, I apologize to, to the 17, almost 1,750 that, uh, that you had scored against you, which somebody's got to take the points, I guess. I, I don't really know. So um, a d interesting side point there, uh, Joe, um, Ruben went 0-1 uh, in the playoffs, just thought I'd point that out, lost his first one, uh, but we'll see what happens uh, with you when you look at that playoff bracket, it'll be kind of neat, uh, we've got uh, Orlando Thunder and Goose Protocol, uh, John, I expect you to, uh, to now do your best to win with your dummy team. Um, and we'll see uh, what happens with uh, with Cool Breeze and Gloop. Uh, I appreciate Nathan. You just having a uh, a definitive victory there. You, you didn't drag it out. You didn't make us wonder what was going to happen. You gave us 
a decently clear winner for the East Conference, which was nice. Uh, it was looking kind of ugly there a little bit. Wasn't sure how that was really going to turn out, but uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, obviously, um, you and Joe are off for this first week, uh, so we'll see if Joey can, uh, after having stopped that free fall for the previous two weeks, we'll see if you can continue your winning ways. Uh, we'll see if uh, if Nathan's team is for real. Uh, it was uh, 140 plus points this week, which was uh, which was nice. Um, It'll be interesting to see uh, without a 90-yard touchdown run from A.J. Peterson uh, what uh, what that score would have looked like, but uh, a couple of low-scoring games. So we'll see uh, what happens. Uh, will Joe get his second championship in the, in the, in the 10 years? Uh, will oh, will uh, Gloop get the first, his first? Will Nathan get his first? Uh, will Aaron get his third? unprecedented third championship uh, that is a possibility will we have our second straight newbie win the championship we'll see but we do know that keith won't win the championship